Microsoft, meanwhile, is continuing its shift from software towards devices and online services. The latest earnings report showed strong gains in Xbox and tablet sales. Microsoft's international president told me that this is part of the company's new global strategy. In essence, Microsoft is helping to shape the digital agenda of economies, of societies, of businesses, and really helping people realize their potential. As a company, we are going through a deep transformation, and we are accelerating the move of a company from software to devices and services. So this is the reason why you see Microsoft today actually having a lot of shiny devices, like this beautiful uh, Windows phone, which is a phablet, which is in between a tablet and, and a phone. And this is not about the device, it's about the way we enable consumers, we enable businesses with cloud services to actually get their work done, to be productive, or to have fun, and actually reconcile the two things together in your life, because you are both consumer, you get your personal life, which is my case, I've got all my hub with my social contacts coming to me, but I've got also my business apps with all my devs briefings right here, where I synchronize my notes and action that I'm taking on my tablets and written notes. But, but f fair enough, you're, you're, you're becoming more consumer oriented. I think that's probably a, a descriptive process. Some of the critics would argue that by doing that, though, you're entering into areas that are less profitable than the traditional software. You had very, very high margins when we talk about Windows. You're well aware of this. And the critics would say that. What would your response be to those who say that this is ultimately going to impact negatively? Uh, it would ultimately have a negative impact on profits. Actually, Microsoft is, as being is, will be more than ever a technology company that has really two feet on the ground. One with consumers and one with enterprise and businesses. As we just reported our quarterly result, we announced 11% growth, which is a good result of the top line, which is actually led and driven by our two businesses. One is consumer device and services. We launched on the market great new devices like our Surface 2. This is our Windows 8 uh, tablet, which is a productivity tablet. We also obviously are taking advantage of the launch of Xbox, Xbox One being launched in many countries in the world, That's, that has helped us growing actually our consumer business by 13%. On the other hand, we have a very healthy enterprise business, so we are growing by more than 10%. And this is where we see the cloud growing by 100% with a lot of additional productivity provided to enterprise everywhere in the world using Office 65 or Windows Azure. Let's talk about some of the challenges you face. Uh, Asia, it's a great place to do business, but it's not without challenges. Uh, specifically with China, what's your greatest challenge there? Well, you know, in China, we, we are taking a long-term position leading with innovation. As a company, we have decided to go really big in China and enabling Chinese customers and international companies in China with cloud services and devices. We are, by the way, the only global cloud provider operating cloud services onshore in China through a deep partnership with a company called 21 Vinet in China that is enabling a V65 or collaboration email services to businesses and also Windows Azure. So we have a lot of companies in China now who have a huge scale, who have a huge capacity and innovation lever using Microsoft Cloud Services. We've been also announcing Surface in many stores in China and we had a great news with uh, the, the, the opening in China of the Shanghai Free Trade Zone and in a partnership with Best TV in China, we're going to have the Xbox coming to China in the future. Let, let me ask you about globally in terms of headcount. Microsoft has, uh, has expanded over, over the years and certainly this year might very well be key as the global economy is getting back on its foot again. What are your plans globally in terms of headcount and also specifically in China? Well, Microsoft globally is about 100,000 people. Again, in more than 130 countries where we have operation across the world. We've got a few very big hubs for the company. And in Asia, certainly China is one of the biggest we have in the world. In China, we've bought more than 6,000 people, which is a combination of our sales, marketing, consulting people, and a lot of R&D. We have actually some deep R&D capabilities in China that we are developing and extending as well. Thank you, Joan Philippe Conchois there speaking to me. He's the president of Microsoft's International Operations.